I had a couple of questions in from Rock My Tipsy Soul um, asking how do I muffle the sound in the video I did on the beach um, and what type of camera I use. So I put this together basically so you can see because I've invested a fair bit in my camera equipment. So yeah, um, you can obviously picking up there's a quality difference between some of my videos. Um, so I'll quite happily share my setup. So I'll go through the different parts. This is everything. I've actually forgot to bring the mic up, so I'll show you that when I go back downstairs. Uh, but there's a few bits and pieces I want to show you for my setup because maybe you want something similar. I mean, the first thing is this is my camera, which is the Canon 650D, uh, which is a pretty good camera. Uh, big, big problem you get though with any autofocus if it's um, when you're actually in front of it you will get a bit of movement um, with trying to focus on your face or the background so sometimes you'll get a bit of movement which is why it's better to set it up first um, which is another bit of equipment I'm buying at the moment uh, which is basically I'll be able to control the camera from a tab in front so I can actually focus on myself and then just begin recording but I'll go through a few of the bits and pieces I've got here so that you can yeah, make your own decision if it's a good idea or not but also I'll let you know some of the mistakes I've made um, so let's get started this is basically so I can see in the sunlight um, if you don't know how to do this I'll show you now here in Spain, one of the problems you get is a lot of light. Um, I can't actually, I mean, I'm looking at the screen at the moment um, on the camera, my phone, uh, but I can't actually see what I'm filming. When you're doing it with a video for like when I'm doing the, uh, well, most of my YouTube videos, I need to be able to see, and this is the screen I have on my main camera. This has a little frame here that you screw on to the base and you can still add your uh, tripod etc but then if you're left left or right depending on which which way you look this will just go straight over the top so now you can actually look in there and see what you're recording uh, make sure everything's in focus etc and then if you want to put it away, you can just unclip it because it's, it's magnetic. It's got four, magnet, four magnets on there. Makes life so much easier. Now, what's the problem with this? Well, because it relies on this little frame, this one here, as you can see, it's been designed for that length. The other, there's other ones with straps and stuff. Um, this one suits me for most things. But when you put your extra battery pack on you can guess what this no longer fits it no longer works with it so if you if you've got an extra battery pack be aware if you use it all the time that this will not work because whoop, the distance between the th the, th the thumb thumb thread and the the actual screen changes because obviously you're not threading into that anymore, you're threading into the bottom of the battery pack which adds, what, two, three inches? Um, which is obviously too much for, for that distance. But I said this is quite handy for this, you know, for when I'm doing most of my video work because I only use the battery pack when I'm out, you know, if I'm going to be out for the day, I use it as a second battery setup. What about the battery backup? Well, this this one is quite quite intelligent. It's got a few bits and pieces. You can control the camera down here. Um, I think this one's actually got a timer and stuff on there as well, so you can do your time lapse photography on here. Um, it's quite useful. It takes two batteries. These are not Canon ones. These are well made in China and doesn't even have a battery brand name. They don't last anywhere near as long as the Canon does, but then again, the Canon batteries are a lot more expensive. I can buy all of this for less than the price of a Canon battery. But, plus side, you've got two spare batteries. Plus side, you can buy Canon batteries if you want and just replace them. 
because this is a lot cheaper than buying some branded stuff very useful very easy to use I recommend leaving the batteries out if you're not using it you know like this just leave it set up um, because I found when I leave the batteries in they seem to drain a lot faster because as soon as you plug it in like so it starts uh, the little clock and stuff off so yeah and that all all you do with that is let's get a camera and try not to drop it you just open the bay door here try not to drop my camera here open the bay door that'll pull it off it, it just clips on you just whip that out whip the battery out and then you just push this straight in and then do the screw up and that's you got your extra battery pack useful for longer stuff you know say you were doing some time lapse stuff if you put a couple of cannon batteries in there it'll last a fair bit um, but like I said the, the batteries on these aren't fantastic uh, they, they're good enough for most things and it, for me it gives me a spare battery set up for because I've got the cannon battery in there but if I wanted to get much much longer I'll just buy some more cannon batteries and drop them in here instead but that that's a useful useful bit of kit and it's pretty cheap now on to the next major issue we get a lot of light um, too much light to be honest it, it causes flare up on my camera where you can't actually see what you're filming now the way you get around this yeah, let's take that cap off just drop that in on the front Alright, let's just do that because I'm not actually putting it on there. I just want to show roughly what you do. So what I do is I'll set that up. And I've got a full pack of filters here. So there's different filters. And as you can see, I don't know if this will work very well. I'm trying not to lose my packet in the wind. So you've got a filter. Let's, let's see if you can see through it. You might be able to see through it, maybe not. But well, the idea being is you slot them in there and it'll take some of the sun glare out so it looks more uh, natural. But also, because what I get is you get end up getting whitewashed where basically everything's just blurry. Um, it's just completely, well not blurry, it's just completely overexposed, too much light going through. So these filters sort that problem out. Yeah, you can see through there, you can see the difference. When I take put the filter in, and you can you can have multiple filters as you can see. All you do is just slot them in there and drop them in, and that's how I get rid of the light issues. So I hope you find this useful. Oh, I forgot my tripod, haven't I? So that that's basically the filters, and this is my new tripod, which uh, so new it's still got its label on, but one of the things I got this for is when you do some panning you want it quite smooth so when you go into a shop when you're looking for a tripod see if you've got that smooth movement because a lot of them are quite juddery because I, I went through about 15 different tripods that I found this one this one locks you just twist this it's locked in position now um, drop the camera in I just push it in clips in straight away and you can uh, you can adjust the head as well, so you can flip it round and stuff like that. So you you know you can change the angle of the camera, very quick and easy to use. And on top of that, instead of faffing about with the legs, it's got a winder on it, so I can adjust the height. So it's a lot faster to move than the cheaper ones with just the extra legs. You're moving them up and down to get it to go where you want um, yeah this is all basically this is the main bits of camera gear I use I'll cover the mic next onto the microphone um, as you can see it's a bit furry what I've got in here is the rodeo mic 
Oh, my cover's just come off. That's why I looked with, without the cover. And inside here, there, I just put this cover back on. That's what it normally looks like. Now, how do you get rid of all the wind noise? You use a dead cat. This, this is what is called a dead cat. Um, for obvious reasons, um, not sure. <laughs> but all it does is this just fits over the top. Let's drop him in there. It's quite a snug fit. Oh, this is really exciting to watch me do this. And then that basically that fits over. Goes like that. Uh, I grab my camera. This just basically slides on the top. Tighten the thumb down, thumb screw down. Plugs into this side here. And as soon as you plug this this in, it will now use this microphone instead of the internal one. That's where the sound quality comes in. This is the main mic I use uh, when I'm outdoors. Um, the quality is so much better, it really is. And I hope that answers all the questions relating to what camera equipment I'm using for doing these videos. I'll put all the Amazon links below as well, so if you are interested in having a prod around and seeing what's what, um, everything will be in there, so just click on the links. Alright, thanks for watching.